Fibromyalgia is a very painful condition that many people are suffering today. Of course, there are your typical medications that can help with this problem. However, there is a therapy that's underutilized, that is not known enough, that can help solve the fibromyalgia problem. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Mikey Yu, board certified integrative rheumatologist. And in this channel, we talk about all things integrative medicine and autoimmune diseases. Today, we're gonna to be talking about fibromyalgia. Now, fibromyalgia, of course, has typical medications that can help that most doctors prescribe, such as gabapentin, Lyrica, and Cymbalta. However, these medications also work on depression as well. Although they can work, there can be unpleasant side effects from these medications. There is another therapy for fibromyalgia that is not utilized enough from both regular doctors and rheumatologists, and this is called low-dose naltrexone. Low-dose naltrexone is one of my favorite compounded medications, meaning your typical pharmacy doesn't have low-dose naltrexone readily available. So you do need to go to a compounding pharmacy to make this. So a compound pharmacy is a pharmacy that can make medications from scratch. He or she will need to send this to a compounding pharmacy. Low-dose naltrexone is one of my favorite compounded medications because not only does it lower the pain level, but it can be anti-inflammatory as well. I've also seen low-dose naltrexone improve my patient's fatigue as well. I've seen this medication do wonders. For example, I've seen patients with fibromyalgia who have been suffering for over a decade and they didn't find any of the medications useful until I tried this medication, LDN, and it finally worked for them. And in some patients, it worked within one visit. However, of course, there are patients that it didn't improve as much as well, but for those that did, it really took their pain away and some of them completely. Some of the main side effects that we do need to be aware of with low-dose naltrexone or LDN is vivid dreams. So some patients may see the dreams or remember the dreams really, really well. Some people might get nightmares. So I've had patients who had nightmares because of this. Some of them could not tolerate their nightmares because of their experience. Others, their nightmares were tolerable and eventually went away. Some other patients had gastrointestinal side effects. Others had increased anxiety and disturbed sleep. However, I've had patients with pre-existing anxiety and insomnia who, after they took this medication, actually improved their anxiety and insomnia. So it had the opposite effect. Of course, there are other side effects that patients can experience, but those are the main ones. So let's start with a little history here. Now, Trexone was actually developed in 1963. And it was traditionally, and it still is, to treat opioid addiction. And at a full dose, it's around 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams per day. However, with LDN or low-dose naltrexone, it is typically only about 10% of the dose, which is around five milligrams per day. So of course, you can start with a lot lower and you can even go a little bit higher than five milligrams and it will still be considered low-dose naltrexone. You must be asking me, well, Dr. Yu, is there any evidence that this can work? And has this even been studied? I will tell you, yes, it has been studied, and studies have shown that it can work. And it's been studied with fibromyalgia and other rheumatology disease as well. So this study was a study on 29 patients with fibromyalgia and they put these patients on low-dose naltrexone. And what they found was that about 50% stated that they felt significantly better with this medication. About 20% had no change and about 10% felt a little bit worse. So of course, none of these medications are perfect. So sometimes it doesn't work. And that is just one study. And there continues to be more studies coming out on low-dose naltrexone and fibromyalgia and some of these studies show that it does work. It doesn't help everyone. Of course, no therapy can help everyone, but there can be a good majority of patients out there that with low-dose naltrexone, it can take away the fibromyalgia pain, or at least help it by a lot. 
So what are the exact mechanisms that low-dose naltrexone can help with fibromyalgia? There are two proposed mechanisms here. Number one is that it's an opioid receptor antagonist, meaning it can lower the pain levels in patients. Number two is that it is anti-inflammatory and it can work on a receptor called the toll-like receptors, which are part of your immune system. And these toll-like receptors can also be found on specific immune cells called microglia, which are your immune cells of your central nervous system. And by working on the toll-like receptors, it can prevent and lower the inflammatory cascade from being activated. And you must be asking me, well, great. Well, I'm glad that I can help with fibromyalgia, but has it been shown to work for other autoimmune conditions and especially rheumatology conditions? Yes, there's starting evidence to be coming out for rheumatology conditions. However, they're not big studies. There's not a lot of money going to the research of low-dose naltrexone because it is compounded, so it's made from scratch. So there's no big pharmaceutical company to put in money into low-dose naltrexone to make it into a drug, at least not at this time. But please tell me if you know otherwise. I will be going over these studies in the future, but today's video is specifically on fibromyalgia. So if patients don't want to use the typical fibromyalgia medications, low-dose naltrexone can be an alternative to those medications. And if you want to learn more, you want to educate your doctor on low-dose naltrexone, they can go to the website ldnresearchtrust.org, which is an excellent resource to learn about the ins and outs of low-dose naltrexone and to keep up with some of the research out there. So I really, really like low-dose naltrexone because I've seen it do wonders for some of my patients. And I really like it for fatigue because it can help with that as well. So have you used low-dose naltrexone before? And what was your experience with it? And is this new to you? What did you learn from this video on low-dose naltrexone? So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And please comment below. And don't forget to watch this next video on integrative medicine and autoimmune diseases. I'll see you guys next time.